Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode six of Photoshop Quick Tips. One question I get all the time is folks want to create their own watermark and they ask me if there's an easy way to do it. Well, it really isn't that hard to do and I'm going to show you one way to create a watermark in Photoshop. Now, there's probably 10 to 20 thousand different ways you could do this in Photoshop. I'm just going to show you one way. So you're probably going to read on the internet or someone's going to write below that you could do it this way or you could do it this way. Well, yes, you can. You could do it all different ways. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it, which I think is fairly easy. So we have Photoshop open and we need to get a new file. So go up to File, New, and I'm going to call this Watermark. Okay, um, width and height at 750 pixels. That's what I'm going to use. Resolution of 300. Uh, background contents transparent. All right, so that's important. Click OK. So now we have our palette to work on. Now, usually watermarks are white, but we're going to make this white. But I think it's easier to visualize the watermark as we're creating it if you use black text. So I'm going to use black text to start, and we'll convert it to white later. If you want to use white text right now, you'll save that step. So it's really up to you. So I want to get the text tool, and I want to write my initials, AM here. So it's going to be AM Photography. Very simple watermark, and I want to put it right there. And we want to get a font. Now, listen, I'm the worst designer in the world, uh, so I'm sure you could do a much better job in the design of your watermark. But I'm going to use Lucinda Handwriting Italic, and I'm going to put capital AM right here. Now, that's too small. We want to make that bigger, so we're just going to double-click to highlight that. We're going to go up here where the font is and single-click there. And then we're going to use the up arrow key on the keyboard, and we're just going to scale up those letters. So it's pretty big all right and then we could go down below it and move it around and we're just going to get it roughly where we want it which uh, right there is pretty good maybe we'll make it just a little bigger to make it a little bigger we got to remember to click up here where it's text um, font is sizes I should say and there okay we're going to click the checkbox we have AM there now um, one thing I Looking at it, well, that AM, you know, it's kerned, it's like spaced properly. I want to move the A and the M closer together. So I'm going to just click between the two letters. So we have a blinking cursor between them. And I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key in. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. Then I'm going to hit the left arrow key. And that will just push those letters together. Like that. That's pretty good right there, all right? So then we'll click this checkbox. Now we have AM there. Now I want to put photography down here. So we're just going to click below the AM, and that'll put a new text layer there. And then I want to get a different font, and I'm going to be very uncreative, and I'm going to get a Garamond bold. So I'm going to put photography here, all right? Now obviously that is way too big, right? So we could select that. We go up here to the font size and click there once. Then we're going to use the down arrow key, and we're going to scale this down. Just so it fits nicely, probably like that. All right, and we're going to click the checkbox. Now I want to just center these a little bit and make it a little more like relative to one another, a little more pleasing. So I'm going to get the Move tool. Move tool is V. On the keyboard is the keyboard shortcut. You could just click right there if you if you'd rather do that. And I'm more concerned about centering it horizontally, not so much vertically, because I think I'm going to crop it later. You'll see what I mean. So that is centered horizontally right there. Then we're going to go down to the photography, and I center that horizontally and get a little closer to the AM, and that looks good right there. All right. Um, okay. Now it's in black, and we do have to convert it to white and we could rasterize these and then convert it to white but it's easier if we just save it as it is now to save it you have to save it as a specific file type if we just save it as a jpeg the transparent pixels will get become white and we don't want that we want to preserve the transparency to save it 
uh, this, the file type we need to use is PNG. So just go to File, Save As, and then go down here to PNG. Like that, we're going to call it Watermark. I'm going to throw it on the desktop, all right? We're going to take these default settings, click OK. All right, now if you want to save this as a Photoshop file, you can as well. That way you could come back in here and re-edit the lettering if you want or something like that. Uh, personally, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to hit Command W to close it. And it's asking me if I want to save it as a Photoshop document. I don't, so I'm going to write Don't Save. All right, so now we're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to open our watermark. Now this is what we just saved. Now you can see it's in black. We need it in white. And to make it in white, all we have to do is hit Command-I. If you have a PC, it's Control-I. We just inverted it. All right, now I'm probably going to crop it a little bit too. So we'll get the Crop tool, and we'll just crop it down. Not that it matters because it is transparent. Makes it look a little neater like that. So we'll delete the crop pixels. We'll go right there. There. Now I'll save it again. So the, this cropped white version. And I'll hit Command S to save that. So I overwrote the previous black one that wasn't cropped. So now we have our watermark. So let's open a couple images. Uh, and we'll test it out. We'll go to Documents. I think I have some on Doc. Yeah, there we go. Watermark Demo 1 and watermark demo two. All right, so we have that one, but we're gonna do that one second. We're gonna do this one. All right, so we'll get the move tool. So we'll go up to our watermark, we have the move tool. All right, so if you try to grab it on the transparency, you won't be able to drag it. See, you're just doing that. So make sure you grab it on the white part of the lettering and just grab it and pull it up on top of your image. Now it's going to be too big when we do that. You can see how big it is. We don't want that. So we have to make it smaller. So we go into free transform mode by hitting command T. If you have a PC, it's control T. And hold the shift button in, the shift key in, and grab a corner and just pull it down. The shift key will keep it shaped properly and make it smaller. Then we're going to move it over here. Okay, then we're going to accept that transformation by clicking the checkbox. You could hit the enter key too. Now, it's a little, you know, it's very bright. So I'm going to go up here to opacity, make sure I'm on that layer, and I'll turn the opacity down. So there's a watermark, AM Photography. You want to flatten this, you could just hit Command E. You flattened it down, and that one's ready to rock. Now, I have one that has a lot of white in it, and I wanted to show what you could do with that. So we're going to take our watermark and we're going to bring it up there and we're going to drop it on the image and then we're going to go into free transform mode command or control t we're going to hold the shift key in grab a corner and we're going to shrink it down to whatever size you like we're going to put it where we want it and we're going to hit the checkbox okay it's white you could see it pretty good but maybe um, what might be more applicable if you had a real busy area you know with something and it might not show properly what you could do now is you want to get a new layer underneath this layer so hold the command or control key in and click on new layer icon down here that'll put the new layer underneath the letters then you want to get the marquee tool hit m on your keyboard that's the tool right here for the rectangular marquee tool and you want to just draw a selection a rectangular selection around your lettering like that okay now you're on layer two remember that so you're on that layer now we want to fill this with a color so go to your color swatches here and click on it and what I want to do is just you know something that isn't absolutely black like there click OK now that's the foreground color and if I want to fill this selection with that foreground color, all I have to do is hold the Alt or Option key in and hit the Delete key, and it will fill it. If I wanted to fill the background color, just so you know, if I wanted to use the background color, I'd hold the Command or Control key in and hit Delete. So that filled in that color there. So we could hit um, Command D to deselect so we don't have the marching ants anymore. Now we could go to Opacity here, and we could turn this Opacity down. Then if we want to turn the opacity down on the 
AM photography also we can do that or you could leave it bright it's up to you like that and then you could just uh, flatten this you could go up to layer flatten image and you're all ready to rock and roll so that's how you make a very simple watermark in Photoshop I hope that helps you guys and I hope you make great watermarks all right that's it for episode six thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.